Here are nine more mistakes that Vanguard players make. If you don't know me, hi, my name is Pineapple, and I'm gonna give you guys basically everything that I changed inside this game. Give me some of the best visibility, best movement, and all around just the most competitive edge that I could get from Vanguard. So hopefully this will be pretty beneficial to new players and advanced players alike. But that being said, let's hop in a private match, and I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through everything I change and why. All right, so we're in a private match. Got the trusty gold MP40 here. So I'm going to show you guys, uh, this is with all of my game changing settings on. Okay. I'm going to go through and turn all of them off and show you guys the dramatic difference. I'll stand in the same spot. I'm going to turn everything off and then we're going to go through one by one and turn everything on. And I'm going to show you guys why and what, and I have not changed any graphics quality settings. I have not changed anything like that. This is all like quality of life features. This is how the game looks for most people. All right. You can see as I move my head, it's kind of hard to see over there, right? So if I was slide canceling and you can see all the movement in the camera and everything now, how much slower and clunkier this feels. Uh, this is how the game is supposed to feel when you buy it. This is how they shipped it. This is how they want you to have to play. It's terrible. It's terrible. There's a number of things here we have to change. The amount of blur in this game is insane. You need to be able to slide past something, glance check, and be able to keep going on about your business. And if you can't hit one of these glance checks, you're gonna be in a lot of trouble. So the real way to improve visibility there is again, graphics, gameplay, and motion blur. Both of these are terrible. We've got all the smoothing between the frames turned off. So you can see right off, right off the bat, there's almost no blur when I turn my head. There's a little bit, like there's, you know, there's a tiny bit, but you could grab a still frame and it would be clear. So you can hit these kind of checks way faster you'll see somebody's you know skin or their operator or whatever and it's not nearly as much of a hassle to check over into that window as as it was before and that'll be true for every dark corner in every map so if you were slide canceling through here you might miss a guy in there or you might miss somebody over here if you don't have motion blur off it's a really big deal i know some people like it because it makes it more cinematic but at the end of the day it is just not the move you want to turn that off but moving on from that we're going to talk about the map size so the map size is actually one of the things that i was really surprised didn't get ported over from warzone because it's one of the most important things especially in this game a lot of people are running forward intel which is a perk that gives you extra map awareness basically so what we're going to be doing is changing our map to square but the reason that's beneficial is because it gives us more coverage all right so i'm going to show you guys a perfect example of why you need to change your mini map size so right now you can't see anything behind me there is an entire building behind me with two doors that i can't see on my mini map so we're going to go ahead and click escape click settings and then well it might not be escape it's, it's escape for me on pc go to settings anyway in settings, we're going to change minimap shape to square, and this is under interface, by the way. Interface, and then HUD elements, and then minimap shape. So we're going to change it to square, and now you can see, I can see the entrance that's over there on my minimap. So if there's somebody in there fighting, if I get a red ping on my radar, I would never have known without changing my map size, and the map size did not port over from Warzone either. And I actually played until like level 30 before I realized that. So go ahead, check your map, make sure it's on square, and while you're there, another tip, is to make sure that your map is on minimap rotation on because without it it's kind of hard to read where you are in the game with minimap rotation on standard it automatically rotates the map so you can just see what's in front of you the only benefit to having it on rotation off is that if you're trying to take a planned route it's a little bit easier but in general for most gameplay you want to be able to glance at your map and see what's right in front of you and right behind you so now that we've got some of the basics out of the way this is where we get into some of the more advanced settings some of this is personal preference but some of this is also like best practices and speaking of that we're actually going to start off with a tip that comes right from modern warzone and uh, it's going to be about slide canceling so if you noticed in vanguard the slide canceling feels a little clunky sometimes you'll miss a slide cancel that you felt like you probably should have hit and the way to get that or to to make it feel more like it does in warzone and modern warfare 19 is actually kind of weird and it's a little bit of like a hidden so click whichever input you have for me i'm going to go to keyboard and mouse and then under gameplay there's movement right here uh, and we're going to go to automatic airborne mantle this does not say anything about slide canceling however it has an effect so yours will be off by default you're going to want to put it to partial and then under show more just make sure these are both off 
The rest of this is preference if you want it on because you like the way that feels or whatever, sure. Your slide canceling should feel a lot more smooth like it did in the previous games. And uh, it'll be easier to reset your tax sprint with it, um, everything. So it's, it's a really big tip and I don't know why it's hidden in the settings the way that it is. I saw this on Twitter. I tried it out in game immediately and it made a huge world of difference. So I felt like I should bring it to you guys here. But yeah, make sure you go through and change that because that and the tip at the end of this video are probably the two biggest things I would say. The slide canceling feels so much better with the setting on. I don't know why it was off by default. Maybe they were trying to just make it so you can't break people's ankles as much. All right, so now we've got a tip that's gonna help you a lot when using those slide cancels that we just refined. So if you've noticed in Vanguard, there's a lot of camera shake and there's a lot of movement whenever you slide cancel, which makes sense because your guy is literally sliding across the ground. But in terms of gameplay and trying to finesse people at a high speed, you don't really have time to be adjusting for all this. It's a lot of micro adjusting to do on PC and I can only imagine trying to do this on controller. So we're gonna turn all this bobbing off and there's a few different settings we need to change at the same time to have that effect. So again, we're gonna open up settings and the first one we're gonna change is under interface and then under HUD elements, right? Where we changed the minimap stuff before. We're gonna change this crosshair bobbing to off, but see how the middle of your screen is not bobbing around anymore when you slide cancel. It's only gonna move when you move it. It's really helpful for centering. It's really helpful for a lot of things. I don't know why they would put it off by default. I get that a lot of players are casual and they're not really, you know, they want the game to look as good and feel as realistic for those players as possible. But uh, if you're trying to get a lot of kills, if you're trying to really have any competitive edge, it's not worth having on. And that also, goes hand in hand with the camera shake. So if you notice when I slide, my whole head bobs around like a baby, like a newborn child. I'm just like, Ugh. so we need to change that. We're gonna go back into settings and this is actually going to be in graphics and then gameplay. Camera movement is at 100% right now. We're gonna drop it to 75. This is where a lot of you are probably going to leave it. Uh, it feels really smooth. There is still a little bit of uh, realism with it. If that's what a lot of people are going for. I know I see in the comments, a lot of people really like the more realistic stuff. So uh, I feel like a lot of people are gonna leave it on 75. I personally am uh, leaving it on 50, like the least that there possibly can be, because I don't like the game trying to give me any sort of input. And you can see this makes the whole process between everything we just changed, the slide canceling feels buttery so it's really 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 key to change these say what you will about slide canceling being broken and overused and all that but if you're gonna slide cancel you need to have these settings changed we're at the point now where we can do like the main visibility thing that i feel like is going to be the most helpful for everybody i don't know if this is actually available on console if it's not i'm sorry i really really hope it is though because it's literally broken it makes the game way 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 more playable so right now I'm gonna show you guys the difference between this setting on and off. And this is not a quality feature. This is not me changing my graphics settings. This is not me, you know, cranking up the VRAM usage at all. This is gonna drop my FPS by like one or two. You'll be able to see in the top corner. All right, I have not moved at all. Look at the difference in this game. It, I mean, this is night and day stunning. Look at this. So. Now your visibility is through the roof. And I know you're saying, Pineapple, what's the setting? Here, I'll show you. So this is FX Fidelity Cast. So under quality, you're going to want to go all the way down to post-processing effects, okay? There's two versions of this. There's FX Fidelity Super Resolution. Don't touch that. You want FX Fidelity Cast on. All video, you've been seeing it with it off, and now we're gonna apply it again, and then look how bad it looks. All of a sudden, this is the video you've been watching right quality all the way at the bottom fx fidelity cast on not the super resolution you want cast okay and then apply settings bang it's night and day the visibility is through the roof you'll be picking people off at way further ranges than you ever thought you could uh, at the end of the day it makes the entire game way 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 better again this is not a graphic setting it's only dropped me by a few fps and mind you i'm recording right now as well on one pc so i'm running the game on pretty decent settings recording for the the minor hit in fps it is so worth it and at the end of the day i can't play the game without it now because i realized how bad the visibility was and also this setting was not there in the beta that's why everyone was complaining about visibility. I mean, look at that. Look at how well you can see into that sniper tower from across the map. Like imagine if I had a better scope on this gun. So that combined with the, everything we've talked about, now, when you slide check, you can see right in there. It's not difficult. There's no haze. 
There's no blurry pixels. It's not the depth of field is off. Wait, is depth of field off? Did we talk about that yet? Did we talk about that yet? Okay, no, turn depth of field off, all right? I don't have to explain that one to you, I guess, because I already didn't, but turn depth of field off. It's useless. It's absolutely useless. I can't believe I forgot depth of field. Turn it off. We're seeing over there now in a way that we could never think about in the base version of the game, the way it ships to you. And this is how all the high level pros will be playing the game. So when you're watching gameplay from Optic Scumpy or Aiden or Diaz Biffle, all the best players in the game, these are going to be the settings they're using within a small margin of error. Some of them might prefer, you know, it on 75% instead of 50%. Um, but in general, they're all gonna have this last setting on. They're all gonna have their movement turned down. They're all gonna have crosshair bobbing off, um, unless they just don't think about it and they're so good they don't need to. Um, but for the most part, these are kind of the meta settings. Yeah, these are the best settings that you can rock, in my opinion. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys have any settings that I didn't cover that you would like to. A couple of rapid fire ones that I'll mention off. You want your slide behavior on tap. I really like that. It makes it a lot easier to slide cancel. I have automatic tack sprint on. And then under graphics and gameplay and then field of view, I have my ADS field of view unaffected. Uh, that's pretty much a standard thing. It's been around for a while. Um, same thing with the minimap though, so I guess it's worth noting. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Let me know if any of this was helpful to you. As always, my name has been Pineapple. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, I'll get this MP40 build out to you ASAP, Rocky. I'm sorry. Just everything's been super busy here. So uh, thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll see you guys very soon with a brand new Vanguard video. All right, peace.